Soundcheck's new enhanced loose particle algorithm measures transient distortion independently of harmonic or rub and buzz distortion. This new algorithm builds on the success of our original 2005 algorithm and introduces advanced techniques to better highlight the loose particle defects while minimizing other artifacts. This makes it easy to set limits in line with subjective tests. In addition to identifying distortion caused by foreign material in the voice coil gap of the speaker, it is also valuable for detecting rattling parts on smart devices and Bluetooth speakers, and identifying buzz, squeak, and rattle in automotive applications. Let's look at how our new enhanced loose particle algorithm analyzes a good speaker and a speaker with transient distortion. This one's the good speaker. You can see a nice, smooth response waveform. And here's the speaker with transient distortion. This actually has a loose solder bead trapped inside the voice coil gap. You can see these little glitches on the waveform. That's the rattling solder bead. First, we remove the fundamental, leaving just the distortion artifacts. And we can play this through soundcheck to listen to the recorded artifacts and correlate what you hear to the measured results. Here's the good speaker. And here's the bad speaker. This really helps us understand how the measurement relates to what we hear and help set limits. Next, we apply an envelope analysis to get a time domain measurement. You can see the energy in the recorded waveform plotted against time. You can see the transient defects as random bursts of energy. You don't see these on the good speaker. Now we calculate the prominence of the energy bursts, or the magnitude of the peak relative to the adjacent minimums. This methodology was the result of extensive research at Listen where we determined that the prominence of a peak reflects the impulsiveness of the distortion artifacts more accurately than the absolute magnitude of the peaks. We then set a threshold, and if the prominence is above this threshold, it's counted as a transient artifact. And to help determine the threshold at which you can hear the distortion, you can play back the filtered artifact waveform to correlate the prominence level with audibility. Lastly, we count the number of events that exceed the threshold over the measurement duration, and we can set a pass-fail limit based on this number. This gives us reliable results under a variety of conditions, because in a typical production measurement, background noises like air compressors going off or pallets being dropped in a warehouse typically only occur once or twice compared to many loose particle transients. So as long as you set the limit according to your environment, you can always get reliable results. So that's it. This new algorithm accurately and reliably detects transient distortion and analyzes it separately from harmonic and rub and buzz distortion. It's accurate even with background noise, easy to correlate to audibility, and even easier to set limits.